Welcome to Tasting the Tri-State. We're dining all over, discovering exciting local cuisine, sampling new creations, and learning what makes your favorite dishes so special. Just wait till you see what we're cooking up this week on Tasting the Tri-State. We're here on the square in Boonville, Indiana at Commander's Grill, and I am with the famous... <laughs> Famous. Yeah, world famous. Mike Reeder. Mike and Julie own the restaurant Commander's Grill, and we'll get into the um, history a little bit. And I'm so excited to be back. This is our second time here. And what are we doing? We're going to do a penne carbonara. We're going to make a, an old fashioned. All Commander's right. Commander's Grill signature old fashioned. Great. Ben's going to make a couple sandwiches. Can I cook with Ben? Yeah. Please. All right, yeah. cool. Yeah, this is Mamie. That. So Mamie Hi. is along for the ride with tasting and helping out with some of the you know, the heavy lifting of trying food, eating food, you know, generally having a great time. So you might see Mamie around a little bit more too as we roll along. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna go back in the kitchen, looking at this bar. I think we're gonna actually cook here at the bar. We're at least making a drink here. We'll be back, this is a great show. Commander's Grill in Boonville. Don't miss it, stay tuned. Tasting the Tri-State is brought to you by IBEW Local 16. As an IBEW Local 16 apprentice, I work in different areas of the trade every day. While I learn, I get great pay and benefits. This is not just a job, this is my career. The best part of the Local 16 is our brotherhood secures our future. IBEW Local 16 has worked with many great organizations over the years. With skilled, trained, drug-free journeymen, we save you time, energy, and money in all your electrical projects. Thank you for using IBEW Local 16 men and women. Announcing the all-new Faulkner Automotive in Mount Carmel, Illinois. Come see a complete lineup of Ford, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram vehicles, all in one great location. View our new and pre-owned bargains and service specials at stevefaulknerautomotive.com. Hi, I'm Steve Faulkner, and your complete satisfaction is our number one goal. Please come see us today at Faulkner Automotive in Mount Carmel, Illinois. Over 2,000 hand-knotted and machine-made rugs in stock at affordable prices. In-home trials and free delivery. Affordable pricing. Exceptional service. White glove installation. Designer quality. Decorate your floors with art. I'm Mike Kishlein with the Rug Gallery of Newburgh, and I look forward to earning your business for a lifetime. Want some great new friends? Enjoy delicious breakfast and lunch all day at the Friendship Diner. Eggs Benedict, crepes, pancakes, burgers, wraps, daily specials, and believe me, so much more. Friendship Diner also has banquet rooms on Evansville's east side. Open Monday through Sunday from 6 a.m. to 3. The Friendship Diner. Come see your new friends today at the Friendship Diner. Fact. McMahon Exterminating is celebrating 50 years in business. Fact. Termites. Man, do they work. They work all the time. We can take care of those for you, and that's a fact. Remember, who can take care of all your pest control needs? McMahon, McMahon can. can. All right, here we are. We're not in the kitchen, nope, right but here. we're making food at the bar. At the bar. At Commander's Grill Bar with Mike Reeder. This is one of the many pastas that are featured throughout the months as you go along for Pasta Wednesday. And it begins at five o'clock. We sell out every night. We do lasagna, which is Ben makes. And then I'll do another pasta. We call it the guest pasta. It's something of my choice that I feel like I can execute well and give it to the customer. We sell out of that every every night. Today we're gonna do penne carbonara. Right. Let's right, see how sure. you do it. This is a beautiful bar. The last time we were here at Commander's Grill, the setup was a little bit different. We opened March 16th of 2016. Everything was going great, COVID hit. They closed us down March 16th of 2020. During that shutdown time, I told Ben, I said, why don't we just build that bar we wanted to build? People who just want to come in and have you know, a casual bite, have a drink after work, hang out with friends, 
really is a yeah, it's a good great spot. Space. It's really helped our business a bunch. So we start this with pasta water, uh, starchy pasta water, and I throw in some uh, some pre cooked bacon. Why pasta water to start it? Just starchy. I've never... It's just starchy, and it'll yeah. give you the cream because you're not people. They add cream to carbonara, and I don't understand why they do that. The cream comes from the cheese right, and, and the, the egg and, the, and, and this the, egg that's mm -hmm. going to be there in a minute. Yeah. What we're going to do here? We're just going to whisk an egg. Just whisk an egg. Then we throw some. Um, we use grande parm, parmesan. Throw some pepper in there, a lot of pepper. Is this your original recipe, Mike? Or uh, is it? No, no, no. I mean, it's pretty pretty traditional, really. I've uh, never made a carbonara in my whole wide life. Some would uh, say that it's not, but I think it, it's pretty traditional. We're gonna throw the, uh, ah, penne, the penne in there. That's how fast it goes. I'll throw some cheese in there, but sometimes it gets stringy. It's a grated parm from, mm -hmm. from Grande. With you, it's a quest for the best ingredients that goes into well, every if you single don't, I don't dish. I understand why you would make something with inferior ingredients to right. start with. So, it, you know. I mean, you just you spare no expense. Now we're going to put the pasta. We're going to mix it up. Gonna all mix coming it up. together, all that, the heat of the pasta Needs and the bacon. There. Oh my goodness. So then it gets creamy. As simple as that, this delicious dish, this bowl of soul-soothing pasta. It's very good. Honestly. Oh my goodness. Let's just make it look a little purtier. You're and amazing. We'll, there that you go. There you go. Is beautiful. It's a mess, but there it is. Delicious. That work? That's going on the tasting table. Normally we don't cook at the bar, but for this special <laughs> right. feature of this beautiful new bar in celebration of it, we cook here this in this first segment and we'll make a special drink. Okay. What are we going to make? We're going to make an old-fashioned. Old Commander's fashion. Grill, old-fashioned. Come on, let's do it. Today we're going to make Bill Bedecker's famous Commander's Grill, old-fashioned. Old yeah. So Bill makes it a little differently than a lot of people, but everybody comes back and they're like, I, uh, I need Bill to make that, please. Oh. It's that special. It really is. So the best ingredients we're starting out with. Okay, we're going to take a sugar cube. Okay. So we're going to put... Five shakes? Uh, yeah, five shakes or so of that mm -hmm. in there. And then I do... Bill doesn't like that, but I'm going to do it. What is that? It, it's just a little club soda. It just helps break all this down. We're going to muddle this. We're going to throw in part of an orange on the bottom of that mm -hmm. and muddle that a little bit too, just to get a little bit of that orange flavor in it. We're going to go in with the Indian hard truth rye. We are going to throw a rock in there. What a beautiful thing that is, that cube of ice. <laughs> yeah. Just neat. So you just get it so cold yeah. and delicious. So that's that. We're going to throw some of that. And Bill but, says you cannot miss. said you have to have some of that cherry juice in there or else they won't like it. It is sweet from the syrup from the cherries. It does add that extra oomph to it. And I don't know if it would be any different if Bill made it. Maybe I wouldn't have any soda water <laughs> in my drink. <laughs> Mike. <laughs> and that is... Smells incredible. Yeah, that is Commander's Grill. Old fashioned. Perfect. Old fashioned. We sell 10 to 1 over in Manhattan or incredible. anything else. We sell those all night long, every night. It's awesome. It's nuts. Uh, they're so good. You ought to try one. Yeah. Even tasting table. <laughs> tasting table, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're a little early in the morning, but... It's all right. Hey. <sighs> all right. Old fashioned it is. Going to the tasting table first. We're going to go to the kitchen with Ben, ben. and Still Mamie. Here. Mamie's Good going to deal. be a, a little help to Tasting the Tri-State, too. My sweet daughter is going to be up next on Tasting the Tri-State. Stay tuned. At Caressel Heating and Air, our professionals prioritize the safety of your HVAC system. We make sure it's running efficiently and affordably to help you save on energy bills. Caressel ensures your peace of mind. Call today and live comfortably with Caressel. Brian, whatever it takes. February is the month of love. But when was the last time you loved your floors? Greer's Flooring America wants to change that. Right now, it's the Adore Your Floors sale. Get savings and special financing you'll fall head over heels for. Shop the latest styles and prints from luxury vinyl to hardwood, carpet, tile, and more. Greer's Flooring America's Adore Your Floors sale is going on now. Greer's Flooring America. Where friends send friends. King Frost Insulators, local 37, yeah. They insulate the USA and the train to know just how. Industrial insulation, insulators got it down. I use the ones who know the job. They keep it green and never stop. Best at what they do in this town. They're the insulators. 
Visit Evansville Wind Supply for all your plumbing needs. We have a vast selection of faucets, freestanding tubs, and more. With brands like Gerber, Delta, and more, Evansville Wind Supply can help. Our excellent customer service allows us to help anyone, from home builders to home buyers. We even offer truck delivery services to your job site. Be sure to check out our huge selection of Milwaukee tools located on North Willow Road just off Highway 41 or visit us online at EvansvilleWindSupply.com. At Mills, we believe in safety first. After an accident, getting your vehicle repaired correctly is Mills Body Shop's number one priority. We are very concerned for the safety of you and your loved ones who will be riding in your vehicle after the repairs. If your car isn't repaired properly, it could put you and your family in harm's way. New car repair is especially delicate. Mills Body Shop technicians are highly certified and trained in new vehicle repair and use only the latest technology for repairs, so you'll have the peace of mind knowing your vehicle is repaired properly. Old School Cafe and Bakery in Huntingburg now has a new outdoor patio. Enjoy Sunday brunch under the covered patio or have lunch and relax with family and friends. See you at the Old School Cafe and Bakery. Old School Cafe and Bakery. We all know energy is expensive and the cost is continually increasing year to year. So adding to the thermal envelope of your structure is a great idea. Shield your structure and save energy with Elite Insulation, the Tri-State's leading insulation contractor. Our professionals use top-of-the-line products installing spray foam and wall and blown cellulose insulation that exceeds tough fire standards and is better for your family's health and safety. For the best results, contact Elite Insulation for a free consultation. Elite Insulation, energy-saving, durable, and quality insulation solutions. Tasting the dry state, and we're back in the kitchen at Commander's Grill with Ben Reeder. Mike's Hello. son. Hi. Hello. Hi. Nice to see nice you again. Nice to see you. Yeah, it's been a while. It has been a long yeah. time. Yeah. So, what are we making? Uh, we're going to make a shrimp po' boy. And, All right. uh, I love shrimp. And Yeah, it's awesome. And then we're going to do a hanger burger. Hanger. Which, a hanger, yeah. We introduced that in probably uh, July or August. Um, and it's just kind of blown up and everybody really loves it. It's just so different being on this side of the camera. It's a lot of fun and um, I'm just so glad that this was my first place to do it. All right, well let's get started. All right. Okay. So first the po' boy and we're gonna take this bun. Now is this just a regular? Just a regular hoagie, hoagie yeah. Hoagie? And I, I just put a skewer through it to help kind of stabilize it. Okay. As we build it. That's gonna, smart. We're just gonna toast that while that's toasting. We've got seven colossal shrimp. Okay. And this is our, our shrimp seasoning, flour, a little bit of a tahine, and mm -hmm. some other secret some other spices stuff, yeah. that yeah. I can't know about. That's right. <laughs> so we're going to dump our shrimp All and right. get a, a good coat to it, drop dust it off a little bit, and we're going to drop that into a 350 degree fryer. And those will get nice and crunchy. Those will get nice and, and, nice and crunchy. And I'm not a picky eater. I usually eat everything. And seafood is one of my favorites. Oh, great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, it's got a nice spicy kick at the end too. So now you just used the flour. You didn't do like any kind of like panko. Nope. I, I, there? I okay. use nothing but our seasoned flour. Yeah. I love this. Now that I that I'm doing the show, I get to learn all these techniques. Yeah. I love to cook. So I'm gonna pull these shrimp up, and then I'm gonna grab the po' boy bun out of the oven. All right. Start to assemble that. All and it right. It stayed together. It did. It stayed together. I like to start out with mayo. And he's got lettuce, tomato, onion. Look how pretty those oh, are. Oh yeah. Nice and golden. Yes. We'll just stack these on here. Ah, uh, my mouth's watering. Now the trick is to keep them on here without them falling off on the way to the table. And then we put a sambal olek aioli on top of that, which is just sambal olek and mayo mixed, but it's it's a good combination. So this there is going go. to the tasting table with Lori and Mike. I don't get to eat it yet, but uh -oh. it, it's okay. My time will come. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, and then next we're gonna do a hanger burger. Hanger burger. Yep. All right, let's get started on that. Let's do it. We're gonna take two of our quarter ounce burger patties. So we pre-flatten these uh, four ounces um, and then we smash them out for you know convenience for us. Um, Do you season them at all? And we're gonna season them right now. All right. With a little bit of uh, our house seasoning. Salt, pepper, and some other goodness in there. And we're gonna throw these right on the grill. Hear that sizzle? Yum. Yeah. Now Ben, I, I met you seven years ago when we did our last yes, show when yes. you guys first opened Commanders. Yeah. So you're the main chef. I'm here all the time, yeah. I've been here seven years since 2016 and I, I, I've loved it. I can't believe how fast it's gone. It, it's amazing. I know. I love the onion straws, how they were light, thin, 
when he piled that on, and then the bourbon glaze that he does. Oh, awesome. What cheese are we using? This is a Swiss American cheese. Oh, yum. All right, so we're gonna put mayo on the bottom of this. So, um, like, is hanger, like, the sauce? It has to do with, with Ralph Weyerbacher, the commander. This is my wife's great uncle. His name was Commander Reif, Ralph Downs Weyerbacher. He grew up in Boonville. He built the ZR-1, which stood for Zeppelin Rigid No. 1, and it made its maiden voyage in 1923. So it flew from Lakers, New Jersey to St. Louis to an air show there in October of 23, and it flew over the courthouse on its way there and it was at like 500 feet above that very courthouse across the street 100 years ago. We're gonna throw this right on. Beautiful. Check our onion rings. They I are. like how they're not super thick, yeah. the onion rings. Yeah. They're more of stringy. Correct. We're gonna put some of our barbecue rub on top of these. Only you could smell it right now. I like to pile these high. Presentation. On, on the burger. Presentation and yeah. I like to feed the people. We're gonna finish it with um, bourbon barbecue nice. glaze. And look how cool this is. Beautiful. Yeah. I wish I could eat it. I will. You I'll can. get a bite can. behind camera. Just a few minutes. Yeah. Mom will share. <laughs> I'm sure she will. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Mamie. I appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciate you. This is awesome. I'm so glad that, and this is my very first show. So I got to do it with you and- Well, I think and, you did great. Yeah, well, thank you. You did too. We're gonna take this and our po' boy to the tasting table next with Mike and Lori on Tasting the Tri-State at Commander's Grill. When you think of plumbers, you think of men and women connecting pipes. But the men and women of Plumbers and Steamfitters UA Local 136 make connections in the community as well. From Easter Seals, Aurora, Holly's House, and many more, a strong community is as important as great plumbing. For over 100 years, Plumbers Local 136 have been making local connections. Here to serve you always, the men and women of Plumbers and Steamfitters UA Local 136. Russell Heating and Air, our professionals prioritize the safety of your HVAC system. We make sure it's running efficiently and affordably to help you save on energy bills. Caressel ensures your peace of mind. Call today and live comfortably with Caressel. Brian, whatever it takes. Like owner Paul Green, for decades, Taylor's Two Steakhouse in Oakland City has been serving the Tri-State. Serving the sizzle over the coals. Steak, smoked and grilled pork chops. Serving the sizzle over the coals. Thanks to I-69, Taylor's 2 is only minutes from a spectacular lunch menu with all the sandwiches and sides you love, plus a full bar and a Taylor's 2 team that makes you feel like family. Visit Taylor's 2 Steakhouse today. Serving the sizzle for you over the coals. Taylor's 2. McMahon Exterminating is celebrating 50 years in business. Fact, termites. Man, do they work. They work all the time. We can take care of those for you, and that's a fact. Remember, who can take care of all your pest control needs? McMahon can. Welcome to the Old School Cafe and Bakery. Come to 4th Street in downtown Huntingburg at dinner time and relax with beer and wine. You'll love the fettuccine Alfredo, grilled tilapia, and more. Plus, we love to party on the patio. We do it old school. Old School Cafe and Bakery. It's Town Square Furnishings President's Day Sale. Shop our huge in-stock selection and take it home today. Or custom order that perfect piece and get up to 48 months financing at Town Square Furnishings. And Town Square has huge savings on Serta and Beautyrest mattresses. Get up to $900 off Beautyrest Harmony Luxe. Free delivery and up to 60 months financing. A better night's sleep starts tonight at Town Square Furnishings in Boonville. Have you ever wondered who the best people are when it comes to Medicare? Why don't you talk to someone who specializes only in Medicare? That's Ken Stevens. He will help navigate your Medicare options at no additional cost to you. Ken Stevens will find the most affordable options that fit your needs and budget. In this day and age, make sure your coverage is exactly what you need. To make an appointment, call Ken Stevens today. Go to StevensInsuranceAdvisor.com. The tasting table is provided by Town Square Furnishings in Boonville.
Commander's Grill tasting table. Look at this spread. Look at this delicious plate of food. <laughs> table of food. It is outstanding. It's Mike, <laughs> you're amazing. No, you're amazing. You're amazing. You're amazing. This is, to me personally, the finest food in Boonville. Well, in the tri-state. Well, good thing. It's delicious. Look, it's a couple of sandwiches. <laughs> it's way more than a and couple of sandwiches, pop, right? So anybody could do, you know, a sandwich, a chili, not like you. Okay, good. It's different. We'll try. So, your chili. Yeah. Let's talk about this chili, because we didn't make it on screen. The chili's great. I love that it's a meaty chili. I always, whenever I'm at home, I'm, I make meat chili because not a lot of people that I live with like beans. Generally, just meat, water, and spices. That's our commander's blend of uh, meat, which is um, the same as our burgers. It's really well balanced yeah. and delicious. And it's a little spicy. I tamed that one down. So let's talk about this delicious pasta. Penne carbonara, yeah. I like to use rigatoni, penne, it doesn't really matter. I just like good pasta, and I like short pasta better. Things with holes in it, it gets inside, and it's really good, creamier. That mm. is fantastic. Mm. The creamy mm. pasta and the Bacony flavor. Oh. Bacon works just great. My goodness. Fantastic. And what goes great with pasta? Oh, you know that salad. one. I know, I love that salad. We've been doing that one again. I've been making that dressing and that salad for a long time. Long like, time. Since I was 25 years old. And that's about eight years now. The neat thing is there's plans <laughs> to bottle this salad. Yeah, pasta. we are gonna try that. I think they're good to go. People talk about the salad, they post about the salad, it's all wow. over social. It, it is incredible. And it also has pepperoni. Pepperoni, yeah, pepperoni, mm. pepperoncini, um, mm -hmm. red onions. So these are all made to order, we don't just mix up a big batch of stuff. It tastes like it's made to order, it's fresh, delicious. Oh. And then Mamie and Ben made some cool food here. Yeah. The shrimp po' boy and the hanger. Let's talk about this shrimp po' boy. Well. Ben makes this all the time. We use a, a 13 15s. Mm. So that's mm -hmm. I mean, that's a pretty good size shrimp. Ben's concoction of this. Looks like a spicy remoulade. It, it's, well, that's actually, that's sambal. That's a sambal olek aioli. It's, yeah, it's a, it's a spicy Chinese chili paste. Delicious. It's really good, yeah. So anyway, we do that. And of course, the lettuce, tomato, mm -hmm. red onion on a decent toasted roll. Shrimp is Delicious, on point, messy. Ben. It's hard to eat, but everybody, we sell a bunch of those too. It's crazy. All right, I'll do it. Do it. Ready? I'm not gonna fold it. Let's do it. I, th I guess you forgot we're doing the burger on the big bite, but it's all right. <laughs> Practice. <laughs> <laughs> it's really tasty. Messy. A little spicy, but not too bad. Fantastic. I love the fresh veggies. When you bite into the shrimp, it's just fresh. Great light. We also do the shrimp on our salad if you, you can do that. This is the hanger one, which is named after the hanger number one, my wife's great uncle. The reason it's called Commander's Grill is because of the commander who built the airship. Wow. This one's been our number one selling, besides our, our Commander Burger, that's been our big seller this year. We just introduced it in like June, I think Ben said. See, the thing of it is what we've changed from seven years ago when we first did your show here, we've actually implemented the Lori Maynard bite, which is? Who can take the bigger bite? Well, I know you'll win. Look at that mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Here's to being friends for 25 years. 25 years. Crazy. Thank you. Warm. <laughs> Keep warm. <laughs> you take my big bite's butt. Mike was fun at making fun of Lori's mouth today, but uh, I think we all know who's got the bigger mouth, if you don't know what I mean, you know? <laughs> That's mm. delicious, isn't it? <laughs> what a burger. This is great. Old friends, great mm. food. Commander's Grill is amazing. Come on out to Commander's Grill in Boonville. It's awesome. You're going to love the food. Everything is the finest ingredients that you can find. Mike and Ben and Julie, they really work their butts off and they put their hearts into this restaurant and you can really tell. Come to Commander's Grill for good food, fresh food, the best ingredients. If you want to know something about us, look at us on Facebook. Cheers to the old fashioned <laughs> old people that we are or we've become. Great restaurant. Thank you so much. Come out to Boonville. We'll be back just as Earth's coming up next. Cheers. Cheers. The National Electrical Contractors Association, IBEW Local 16, and the Evansville Electrical Training Center are the power of three. Our electricians are the most highly trained and experienced anywhere. Get your job done right the first time saving you time, energy, and money. 
Experience the power of three. Find a contractor for your next project at SWIElectric.com. Like owner Paul Green, for decades, Taylor's Two Steakhouse in Oakland City has been serving the tri-state. Serving the sizzle over the coals. Steak, smoked and grilled pork chops. Serving the sizzle over the coals. Thanks to I-69, Taylor's 2 is only minutes from a spectacular lunch menu with all the sandwiches and sides you love, plus a full bar and a Taylor's 2 team that makes you feel like family. Visit Taylor's 2 Steakhouse today. Serving the sizzle for you over the coals. Taylor's 2. Go! Space Monkey Records. 200,000 records and just more entertaining. Find out why even big city record buyers are road tripping to Evansville's homegrown music media destination. Space Monkey Records, Evansville. Hi, welcome to Amco. How can I help you? My car keeps making a funny noise. Brum, 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 brum. I think we can help you with that. Amco Total Car Care will help you with all your vehicle's noises. Our locally owned Amco AA Beep Beep MCO is here for you. Thanks for calling Amco. Can I help you? Yes, my truck keeps making these shaking noises, kind of like. I think I know what that is, and we can definitely fix that. So many groups and individuals are part of Southwest Indiana's amazing growth, including our friends at the IBEW. The 1,000 members represent highly trained electrical workers who are working to change the face of our region. Hats off to those men and women who are helping to modernize Southwest Indiana. IBW Local 16 has worked with many great organizations. We save you time, energy, and money in all your electrical projects. Thank you for using IBW Local 16. Just Desserts is brought to you by Caressel Heating and Air. Just Desserts. Just desserts. Today we're going to be making Dr. Pepper cake. Easy, easy, best cake I think I've ever eaten in my life. I know that's a bold statement, but I love the flavor of this cake. I love that you can interchange flavors, but it's so simple. It's a box cake mix, and I'm going to take a Dr. Pepper and add mostly all of it. Yeah, I'm going to add the whole thing. All we have to do is mix this up, and we stir it around and get it going and it foams and it bubbles and it does its thing. But the nicest thing about this cake is, let's say you don't like Dr. Pepper, any of your, fl your favorite flavor of soda it has to be carbonated. You just take a 12 ounce can or a small little bottle like I had and add it to your cake mix and that's it. And today I'm gonna do cupcakes because I have some very special tasting guests today. Very special, adorable. You know, so many times I've tried to scoop this batter into here and it's made a huge mess. So I thought there's gotta be a better way. Zip. Ziploc bags. You just put this in here, boop, and we just fill these up. Into the oven we go. 350 degrees, got 12 minutes. I just like to just use this and just do some frosting on these. Super pretty. So do you want cupcakes? Do you wanna be the Just Desserts taster? Here you go, Goldie, have a little cupcake. Not too much for puppies, just a little. How is it? Did you like it too, Sadie? Thanks for watching Just Desserts and Tasting the Tri-State. We'll see you next week.